What is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. And uh, about 20 minutes ago, I got up from my 16 hour sleep. Uh, I did pull an all nighter and uh, ended up staying up about 40 hours. So I had to go for a full on, full on just sleep binge. And, um, oh God, all nighters, I, I, they're fun in a way, but man, you do always end up feeling like a piece of garbage <laughs> once you're done with them. Anyways, um, uh, th during that all nighter, I did actually end up doing a four to five hour stream for you guys watching the charts, which were actually pretty interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the last uh, video I made about this, um, this was when I made the last video. This is what the chart looked like. We were like, okay, you know what? Got the resistance here. We're playing around. We're consolidating. We finally break it. We, you know, break previous highs. We come back down, and then we're like treating resistance as support. And in that video, I literally said, okay, maybe there'll be like one more red candle, and then like a green one after that. And then it did exactly that. <laughs> it did exactly that. And again, same time frame and everything. And then we're like, you know what? You know, once it does that, it's going to, you know, go to the resistance and then it's going to test it. Because what I said was, hey, I, I don't know if it's going to break, but it's 100% going to test that level. And then, yes, it tested it right there. And then kind of did a little fake out. And then look what happened. Look what happened. We were able to look at the price action, analyze it, and we literally knew this was going to happen. I said, we're going, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be anything crazy, but hey, it's going to be something along the lines of the 21, 22 cent region, and it got to a high of 0.225. So it literally did exactly what we thought it was going to do. But what's happening now? So we have the run up. We have a little little scam pullback and then bullish engulfing to counter it and then, you know, made the highest high. So now we got a deep red candle, but then immediately after you have, uh, I don't think you can call this a doji because the body is actually, you know, still there. But um, essentially what that candle is, is the market is very, very uncertain at that level. So it pulls back and then becomes very uncertain. Uh, that seems like to me, uh, it we got a better chance of getting right back to previous high and then testing again. But just like last time, uh, I don't know whether it's going to break, but it could definitely test because market market has a lot of certainty about going up and up and up and up and up, but it has one little retracement candle and then it's all of a sudden, oh, um, oh God, wait, what are, what are, we, what are we doing here? And then this next candle, which closes in an hour and 30 minutes, is doing the same thing. It's like, oh, well, what are we... What do we really do at this level? So I think in a really weird way, I feel like I, I feel like this is being treated as support. Now, this really isn't an actual support on the four hour at least, but the market's taking it that way, if you know what I mean. So uh, just like the last video, I'm kind of expecting the same thing to happen again. It was just, you know, the little pullback to previous levels, consolidating. But this time, it's not even just consolidating. It's actually having these indecision indecision candles, which I love. It's like, you know what? When the bulls step in, it's like, oh, hell yeah, we're going up. Eh, we're going to, eh, you know what? Nope, no, nope. We're very certain that we are going up. We pull back, and they go, um, I don't know. Are we, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think we're going down. I don't think we're going down. So that's what the market is really telling me right now. Um, I haven't really looked at this yet, but let's go down to the smaller one hour chart. Um, oh, oh, well, would you look at that? It ends up bouncing support guys. This is going back up. Um, I'm not getting scammed out of this one, dude. This is clearly look at this. It's, it, it, it's literally this right here. Okay. This right here is just it's just this scenario all over again, man. It's the 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 power move up, the pullback, consolidation at previous levels, and then make another run up. And it's literally doing the same thing all over again. So guys, what I am expecting is probably a little more consolidation here, and then at some point it is going to go back and test this level again. Whether or not it breaks, I have no idea, but I'd say the chances are more likely than not because it seems like we're starting to get into somewhat of an alt season. Uh, and Bitcoin's actually nearing 10K again, which, uh, 
You know, when Bitcoin breaks 10 k and goes way past that level, uh, it does kind of trickle down to the rest of the market. And considering gold just hit $1,900 on the dot, um, yeah, I think cryptocurrency is going to do very well here uh, in the next few weeks or months. So, guys, that is it for today. Really glad to see that the charts played out to what we were expecting. And it's kind of just rinsing and repeating. And it seems like it's going to do the same thing again. And uh, this monthly candle, we are wanting to secure a beautiful close up in the 22, 23 cent region. But look at that. The monthly candle is already above the previous structure. But this is the next battle we really want to get right here is the 24 cent level. Guys, we get a monthly close above that. We are heading into the 30 cent region, perhaps maybe the 40 cent region. Guys, I cannot wait for this stuff to play out. Thanks so much for tuning in the video today. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe. Check the links in the description if you want to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.